Zebras, subgenus Hippotigris, are African equines with distinctive black and white striped coats. There are three extant species, the Grevy's zebra, Equus grevii, Plains zebra, Equega, and the mountain zebra, E. zebra. Zebras share the genus Equus with horses and asses, the three groups being the only living members of the family Equity. Zebra stripes come in different patterns, unique to each individual. Several theories have been proposed for the function of these stripes, with most evidence supporting them as a form of protection from biting flies. Zebras inhabit eastern and southern Africa and can be found in a variety of habitats such as savannas, grasslands, woodlands, shrublands and mountainous areas. Zebras are primarily grazers and can subsist on lower quality vegetation. They are preyed on mainly by lions and typically flee when threatened but also bite and kick. Zebra species differ in social behavior, with plains and mountain zebra living in stable harems consisting of an adult male or stallion, several adult females or mares, and their young or foals, while Grevy's zebra live alone or in loosely associated herds. In harem holding species, adult females mate only with their harem stallion, while male Grevy's zebras establish territories which attract females and the species is promiscuous. Zebras communicate with various vocalizations, body postures and facial expressions. Social grooming strengthens social bonds in plains and mountain zebras. A zebra's dazzling stripes make them among the most recognizable mammals. They have been featured in art and stories in Africa and beyond. Historically, they have been highly sought after by exotic animal collectors, but unlike horses and donkeys, zebras have never been truly domesticated. The International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, lists the Grevy's zebra as endangered, the mountain zebra as vulnerable and the plains zebra as near-threatened. The quagga, a type of plains zebra, was driven to extinction in the 19th century. Nevertheless, zebras can be found in numerous protected areas. The English name zebra dates back to C1600, deriving from Italian, Spanish or Portuguese. Its origins may lay in the Latin equiferus meaning wild horse, from equus, horse, and ferus, wild, untamed. Equiferus appears to have entered into Portuguese as a zebro or zebro, which was originally a name for a mysterious, possibly feral, equine in the wilds of the Iberian Peninsula during the Middle Ages. In ancient times, the zebra was called hippotigris, horse tiger, by the Greeks and Romans. The word zebra was traditionally pronounced with a long initial vowel, but over the course of the 20th century the pronunciation with the short initial vowel became the norm in the UK and the Commonwealth. The pronunciation with a long initial vowel remains standard in US English. A group of zebras is referred to as a herd, dazzle, or zeal. Zebras are classified in the genus Equus, known as equines, along with horses and asses. These three groups are the only living members of the family Equity. The plains zebra and mountain zebra were traditionally placed in the subgenus Hippotigris, C.H. Smith, 1841, in contrast to the Grevy's zebra which was considered the sole species of subgenus Dolichohippus, Heller, 1912. Groves and Bell, 2004, placed all three species in the subgenus Hippotigris. A 2013 phylogenetic study found that the plains zebra is more closely related to Grevy's zebras than mountain zebras. The extinct quagga was originally classified as a distinct species. Later genetic studies have placed it as the same species as the plains zebra, either a subspecies or just the southernmost population. Molecular evidence supports zebras as a monophyletic lineage. Equus originated in North America and direct paleogenomic sequencing of a 700,000-year-old Middle Pleistocene horse metapodial bone from Canada implies a date of 4.07 million years ago, Maya, for the most recent common ancestor of the equines within the range of 4.0 to 4.5 Maya. Horses split from asses and zebras around 4 Maya, and equines entered Eurasia around 3 Maya. Zebras and asses diverged from each other close to 2.8 Maya and zebra ancestors entered Africa around 2.3 Maya. The mountain zebra diverged from the other species around 1.75 Maya and the plains and Grevy's zebra split around 1.5 Maya. In addition to the three extant species, some fossil zebras have also been identified. 
Equus cubiforensis is an early zebra or equine basal to zebras found in the Shungura Formation, Ethiopia, and the Olduve Gorge, Tanzania, and dated to around 2.3 Maya. E. oldowaensis is identified from remains in Olduve Gorge dating to 1.8 Maya. It is suggested the species was closely related to the Grievous zebra and may have been its ancestor. Fossil skulls of E. moridinicus from Algeria which date to around 1 Maya appears to show affinities with the plains zebra. E. capensis, known as the Cape zebra, appeared around 2 Maya and lived throughout southern and eastern Africa and may also have been a relative of the plains zebra. Non-African equines that may have been basal to zebras include E. sanzaniensis of Eurasia, circa 2.5 Maya, and E. namadicus, circa 2.5 Maya, and E. civilensis, circa 2.0 Maya of the Indian subcontinent. A 2017 mitochondrial DNA study placed the Eurasian Eovido V and the subgenus Susemionis lineage as closer to zebras than to asses. As with all wild equines, zebra have barrel-chested bodies with tufted tails, elongated faces and long necks with long, erect manes. Their elongated, slender legs end in a single spade-shaped toe covered in a hard hoof. Their dentition is adapted for grazing, they have large incisors that clip grass blades and highly crowned, ridged molars well suited for grinding. Males have spade-shaped canines, which can be used as weapons in fighting. The eyes of zebras are at the sides and far up the head, which allows them to see above the tall grass while grazing. Their moderately long, erect ears are movable and can locate the source of a sound. Unlike horses, zebras, and asses have chestnut callosities only on their front limbs. In contrast to other living equines, zebra forelimbs are longer than their back limbs. Diagnostic traits of the zebra skull include, its relatively small size with a straight profile, more projected eye sockets, narrower rostrum, reduced post-orbital bar, a V-shaped groove separating the metaconid and metastylate of the teeth and both halves of the enamel wall being rounded. Zebras are easily recognized by their bold black and white striping patterns. The belly and legs are white when unstriped, but the muzzle is dark and the skin underneath the coat is uniformly black. The general pattern is a dorsal line that extends from the forehead to the tail. From there, the stripes stretch downward except on the rump, where they develop species-specific patterns, and near the nose where they curve toward the nostrils. Stripes split above the front legs, creating shoulder stripes. The stripes on the legs, ears and tail are separate and horizontal. Zebras also have complex patterns around the eyes and the lower jaw. Striping patterns are unique to an individual and heritable. During embryonic development, the stripes appear at 8 months, but the patterns may be determined at 3 to 5 weeks. For each species there is a point in embryonic development where the stripes are perpendicular to the dorsal and spaced 0.4 mm apart. However, this happens at three weeks of development for the plains zebra, four weeks for the mountain zebra, and five for Grievous zebra. The difference in timing is thought to be responsible for the differences in the striping patterns of the different species. Young or foals are born with brown and white coats, and the brown darkens with age. Various mutations of the fur have been documented, from mostly white to mostly black. There have even been morphs with white spots on dark backgrounds. Albino zebras have been recorded in the forests of Mount Kenya, with the dark stripes being blonde. The quagga had brown and white stripes on the head and neck, brown upper parts and a white belly, tail, and legs. As of 2016, 2019, the IUCN Red List of Mammals lists the Grievous zebra as endangered, the mountain zebra as vulnerable and the plains zebra as near-threatened. Grievous zebra populations are estimated at less than 2,000 mature individuals, but they are stable. Mountain zebras number near 35,000 individuals and their population appears to be increasing. Plains zebra are estimated to number 150,000, 250,000 with a decreasing population trend. Human intervention has fragmented zebra ranges and populations. Zebras are threatened by hunting for their hide and meat, and habitat change from farming. They also compete with livestock for food and water and fencing blocks their migration routes. Civil wars in some countries have also caused declines in zebra populations. By the beginning of the 20th century, zebra skins were valued commodities and were typically used as rugs. 
In the 21st century, zebra hides still sell for $1,000 and $2,000, and they are taken by trophy hunters.